five years between the first blacklist coming out and, and me thinking seriously about turning it into a, a, a business venture, uh, Twitter happened, iPhones happened, iPads happened, um, Snapchat, Instagram, like literally everything we take for granted now, uh, sort of venues and spaces where we share information, all happened and sort of changed our interaction on the internet in those five years. So uh, by 2010, I wanted to build an infrastructure whereby any of us, any of you, could go online and say, you know what, I'm looking for an action movie set in New York that can be made for under $10 million of the female lead between the ages of 25 and 34. Like, if you want to find a script like that, how do you do it? You, you develop it, you call agents, and you beg for them to send you something like that. Um, why isn't it as simple as going on the internet and saying, show me a list of every script that exists like that? Uh, and it should be. Uh, and there are many reasons why it doesn't, and the main one is, is that there are interests in the business that have significant investment in controlling information and preventing you from being able to find that information easily. Uh, so we built this database um, and allowed anybody who's a sort of working uh, industry professional to, to list scripts they'd read, um, and that was filterable and sortable on any dimension. Um, and as we were building that, in 2011, while I was working for uh, Will Smith's company, I realized that uh, we could solve this other problem, which was that people would ask me, how do I get my script to someone in Hollywood who can get it on the blacklist? Um, you know, and there was no good answer other than like, enter the Nickel Fellowship, or uh, you know, move to LA, get a job at Starbucks, and sort of network yourself to death until someone pays attention to you. And, and you know, look, I'm a black kid from West Central Georgia. That is an unsatisfactory answer, because the people that can move to LA and get crappy jobs uh, are disproportionately upper middle class. Um, which means that you end up with an industry and a sort of culture-making body that is disproportionately upper middle class, white, straight, cis, male. Um, and if you look at the movies that are made, that is who's making culture in America for the most part, uh, and has historically. Um, and so I wanted to create something where it didn't matter where you lived, it didn't matter what you looked like, it didn't matter who you knew, if you could write a dope script, you would have a chance at a screenwriting career. So anybody on Earth can now upload their script to our website, pay a small, small fee to have it evaluated. If it's good, we tell everybody in the industry, like, yo, this is dope, you should do something with it. Um, and we've literally gotten hundreds of people from around the world signed at major agencies and management companies, uh, a similar number of options in sales. We're partnered with every writer's guild in the English-speaking language except for Australia. Uh, I don't know what's now you, that. what you guys have done is really phenomenal. There's Thank no you. question. Yeah. I mean, if there's a young um, aspiring uh, screenwriter out here, if you send your script to the blacklist and it, and it gets it gets noticed, you'll probably get an agent right yeah. away. So and that's if you're the a producer quick way. looking for material, also check out the website. <clears throat> right, I, I'm obligated to say that too. So. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>